And let's begin the show with Anis Bazmi's Bhool Bhulaiya 3. Well, this film brings Karthik Aryan back as the eccentric ghostbuster Roop Baba, this time facing a far greater challenge than before. Joined by powerhouse actors Vidya Balan and Madhuri Dikshit Nene, this sequel is a twisted yet fun horror comedy that promises both spine-tingling moments and hearty loves. With double the scare factor and a deeper backstory, Bhul Bulaiya 3 offers a fresh plot for long-time fans of the franchise, albeit with a few missteps along the way. The narrative kicks off in 1824 at the ominous Rakt in West Bengal, where Manjulika is sentenced to death by the local king. The tale then flashes forward 200 years where Roo Baba, played by Karthik Aryan, is running a thriving corn business in Kolkata, posing as a coast buster with his loyal sidekick. Enter Meera, that is Tripti Dimri, and her uncle Rajesh Sharma, who approach Ruh Baba with a job offer to cleanse their haunted fort of Manjulika spirit, hoping to restore its value and sell it off. Ruh Baba agrees, initially seeing it as another easy con. However, he soon finds himself grappling with something far darker and much closer to home, as he uncovers his own lineage linked to Rakt Ghat's troubled history. As Ruh Baba dives into the haunting of Rakt Ghat, he's faced with his, the terrifying revelation of not one but two Manjulikas, portrayed by Vidya Balan and Madhuri Dikshit Nene, making the stakes even higher. The movie builds suspense by interviewing horror and historical intrigue while keeping viewers guessing about the real identity of Manjulika. With plenty of twists, the film crescendos into a surprising and thrilling climax that underscores the high stakes mystery of Rakt Ghat. Karthik Aryan once again charms as Ruh Baba, blending humor and bravado with moments of genuine terror. He finds his comedic timing matched by Rajpal Yadav, Vijay Raz and Sanjay Mishra who add depth to the film's lighter moments. Tripti Dimri as Meera has a few strong scenes though her character occasionally feels underdeveloped. Nonetheless, she adds a layer of intrigue to the story even if her chemistry with Aryan's character feels forced at times. The true stars of the film, however, are Vidya Balan and Madhuri Dikshit Nene who elevate Bhul Bhulaiya 3 with their captivating portrayals of Manjulika and Anjulika. Balan's return as the iconic Manjulika is both nostalgic and very, very, very powerful. While Nene's performance introduces a new, equally formidable version of the character, their on-screen chemistry culminates in a show-stopping dance-off to the haunting Mere Dholna melody, a moment that beautifully combines fear and grace. The music, while not as memorable as the original, still evokes a spooky atmosphere with different renditions of the iconic Ami J. Tomar playing strategically throughout the film. However, many of the newer songs feel more like filler, interrupting the flow of an otherwise tightly woven story. Fortunately, the background score during the horror sequences compensates, enhancing the suspense and heightening the eerie ambience of Rakt Ghat. Anis Bazmi's direction keeps the audience engaged, skillfully blending horror, humor and high-stakes drama. Bazmi draws from the franchise's trends, providing moments that balance humor with a carefully paced suspense that builds steadily. The film's twists and turns are orchestrated to keep the audience guessing, lending depth to the mystery surrounding the two Manjulikas. Bazmi's handling of the characters and storyline demonstrates his understanding of the horror comedy genre really well, even if some of the jump scares and romantic subplots feel out of place. Despite its somewhat uneven first half, Bhul Bhulaiya 3 comes into its own as a Diwali entertainer, blending horror, comedy, nostalgia for a very, very enjoyable experience. Karthik Aryan's humorous, self-aware performance and the powerful chemistry between Vidya and Madhuri add less to the story, culminating in a refreshingly bold climax. The film may not redefine horror comedy, but it delivers what fans expect. A fun, light-hearted, spook-fest fit for the holiday season. Try it. Go for it.